we're celebrating the final season of Pose, which was a groundbreaking show and became famous, of course, for its fashion and the ballroom. My next guest says Pose gave her the courage to follow her passion to perform. My name is Char. I'm 33 years old, and I'm in Tampa, Florida. I have always wanted to express myself through performance. I hit 30, and then I just thought my dreams were over until I saw Pose. I was taken in the very first episode. Before I knew it, I was on a plane to New York City. I showed up to the audition, and I did a lip sync to Madonna's Like a Prayer, and it landed me a spot for two episodes. But the production got shut down due to COVID-19. I was disappointed that I missed out on that chance, but Pose re-energized my ambition and my passion for performing again. What a story. Thank you so much, Char, for joining us. Hello. Hi. Tell me, what was it about the show that made you just, uh, I mean, be bold enough to get on a plane and try to get there? I think it was finally deciding that 2020 was originally supposed to be my year. <laughs> I, um, I said before all this happened that this was going to be the year that I was going to put myself out there again. I, I had been talking to a lot of my loved ones about how I was still feeling like I was missing something mm. because I started young wanting to perform, you know, and I was in high school and, you know, high school has its clicks and drama club is no exception. And I wasn't really part of it. And I really felt depressed about it to a point that I just gave up. I felt like, what's the use? But something never stopped telling me that I really wanted to be a part of acting. And so when 2020 began and someone in my Facebook fan group that I help run, they were like, they're going to be the extras for season three. And I said, oh, well, I'm so there. And I thought it was as a joke, but I said, okay, maybe I'm going to try. I'm going to try oh. this. And two weeks later, I was doing this lip sync to like a prayer for some <laughs> casting directors. And I still can't believe I went and did that. Is that the wildest thing you've ever done? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> what was it like to audition? And it was, it was interesting um i'm in this little little town outside of tampa florida everything's kind of you know straight and narrow mainstream and when i come to new york and i'm in this room waiting my turn i felt like i was at a ball i did and i was like i actually felt a little underdressed compared <laughs> to the rest of the people but i said okay you know I, I'm, I'm just gonna go for it i've made it this far and if I don't get it, at least I had a great weekend. I love and that. I'm in line and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. And when I heard that first hit to Madonna's Like a Prayer, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go for it. I love it. So I know you and shared with us that because of COVID and the shutdown, you didn't get a chance to shoot the scene. But it sounds like from your spirit and the smile on your face, that has not deterred you, that you got something even more in taking that leap of faith to travel and try to do it. Mm -hmm. It did. It really did because there was a time I was too scared to let myself be seen. Mm. I was afraid of letting people see the real me. And with watching Pose and seeing these stories and just even seeing how some of them would lose everything to live their truth, yeah. I said, okay, I I'm going to try this again. And if I don't make it, even if I fall flat on my face, I still can say that I did it. And wow. my fiance was saying, he goes, if you don't do this, you're going to always wish you had. Oh. So I didn't want to have any more regret. I you are as, as inspiring as the show itself, Char. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Keep taking those risks. Keep taking those chances. They will pay off. Thank you so much. I am so happy and proud of you. 
Thank you. I love being on the show. I love your show so much.